so they cannot resist the high impact. I'm from Missouri University of Science and Technology. We do research on tornadoes, so we wish we can get uh, uh, this type of uh, uh, first-hand data so in the future when we design structures they can resist the tornadoes. So we want to ask you guys where did you stay when tornado hit this area? Uh -huh. Is there any structural members collapsed in the building inside the complex? On our side, no. My name is Grace Yen. I'm an assistant professor at Missouri University of Science and Technology. I'm a director of a Wind Hazard Mitigation Laboratory, short for WAM. In the lab, we simulate a tornadic wind field using numerical simulation and laboratory tornado simulator. We want to figure out the wind characteristics in tornadic wind field. And we also want to find the wind pressure induced by tornadoes on civil structures. The ultimate goal is to achieve tornado resistant design. So when the tornado warning was issued, did people hide anywhere in the building or did people go somewhere else? When we got it, we left. We went across town. Uh, if people were in this building, obviously they cannot survive, but I'm glad that they responded to the tornado warning very, uh, uh, very quickly, very timely. So save people's lives. Take a picture of this one. Can you take a picture of this part? This member should be here. You can see that for each uh, truss member, they are not damaged at all. So the damage is caused by the connection. So that means um, if in the future, if we build a roof truss, we need to use stronger connections. So all the roofs are damaged here. So that means the suction um, in this area may be very big. So, uh, and in tornadic wind field, the suction is at the tornado center. So maybe tornado center pass through this community. Based on our experience, we think it's a single vortex tornado. Not only single vortex, but also single cell. So that means that there's only updraft. So from our observation, we can tell the tornado core may be just between uh, 50 to 100 meters. It's not big at all. So here, uh, now we are in town. Uh, yeah. This is the end of the tornado. All the windborne debris were uh, blown to this spot. This is a wall for the prison. Uh, it, it's a masonry wall. Uh, it was built more than 100 years ago. It is very thick. If uh, it's not this strong tornado, I shouldn't uh, collapse. Although that wall has been collapsed, but uh, they, this building has been rarely touched by the tornado. So based on the damage extent and the quality of the construction, this tornado is ranked as EF3. The maximum equivalent straight line wind speed is 160 miles per hour. We wish our community will be more tornado ready and tornado resilient.